We're continuing our coverage like we have been all morning and now I'm joined live with the current mayor of Walker, Gary Carey Jr. We heard you spoke a bit in the piece, but something we didn't get to talk about is Standell took years to bounce back and rebuild, but you said it's it kind of had to reinvent itself. It was never the same. Why is that? Sure, if we go back 65 years, you know, this weekend, this was a thriving uh, single story wood, uh, wood uh, uh, building, uh, really district here that was thriving. People were coming here to do their shopping. You had different choices for shoes, groceries. Um, and, you know, really what, what ended up having um, when the tornado came through, and when you think about it, it there was literally two buildings. Um, so I'm told there was two buildings left standing. That was it in this district here. And what happened is, um, right as people are starting to rebuild and now they're instead of maybe wood buildings they're putting brick buildings up so there was a lot of changes as they were rebuilding not long after that the indoor shopping malls really started to grow around here the first one um, second one the third one and people found the attraction to go to those locations as opposed to having to drive to the outside and, and walk in someplace was a lot more appealing. You could get everything under one roof. So um, Standale over the years has had to reinvent itself. Uh, we're obviously, uh, as you can see by the traffic behind us and all of the noise, <laughs> it's a thriving, booming district right now. But it took us a while to get here and in making a lot of investment um, in this district here. Yes, really bounced back stronger. But if something like this would happen today, I mean, it's, it's been obviously a long time, 65 years. How do you think it would impact the city? How would you guys handle this? Well, uh, great, uh, you know, great news with the technology uh, introductions, and uh, um, we would have, I, I think the loss of life that took place that day would uh, be on, on a more favorable side. Um, but I, I think from the buildings, there's things you just can't control from Mother Nature. Um, buildings are being built better now. Our codes are a lot more stricter uh, to, pre to prevent for something like that. But um, definitely the loss, you're probably talking tens of millions, maybe into the hundreds of millions of dollars in this area if something like that happened again. Yeah, so much, so many more people living here, everything Correct. growth, yeah. And we've got, we've got more population too, so you're probably gonna have an impact, but I think we'd have that advance warning, um, which is great that we're going through this right now. And you talked about, this is not meant to, to scare people and there are still some people that lived through this, um, that went that went through this. It, it, it's it's getting us prepared. If it were to happen again, we know what to do and we're better prepared for exactly it. Exactly that, Gary. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.